Hi, Mrs. Cox. This is John from Kellogg Community College, Cow 2. Techniques of Integration, Improper Integrals You may find yourself asking, what is an improper integral? The definition of an improper integral, as defined by thefreedictionary.com, is an integral having at least one non-finite limit or an integrand that becomes infinite between the limits of integration. How to recognize an improper integral. An improper integral is an integral with limits that either have an undefined point in them, have a lower bound of negative infinity, or an upper bound of positive infinity. Examples. These three integrals can each be recognized as indefinite integrals. First, we must remember that taking the integral of a function is really just finding the area under the curve of said function. And to find the area under any given point, the function must be defined at said point. For the function 5x squared, we can clearly see that infinity is not a defined point on this integral, so the integral must be set up as an indefinite integral. For 1 over the quantity x plus 16 to the 1 third power, we will need to set the denominator equal to 0 to see if there are any undefined points on the given integral. We see that negative 16 makes the denominator 0, and therefore the function is undefined at that point. For 1 over over 1 plus x squared, we will see that negative infinity will also not be defined, so this will also be labeled as an indefinite integral. Now, once, that, once you find that an in integral is in indeed indefinite, what you need to do is, for each point that is undefined, replace with a constant a, b, c, etc. Next, you need to set the limit as the previously named constant approaches the undefined point on the integral. You need to integrate and then solve the limit. Example 1. The only point that is included in the bounds and is undefined on the interval is infinity. So, we set the limit up by putting the limit as a approaches infinity from 0 to a of the integral 5x squared dx. We integrate by adding 1 to the exponent and then dividing by the new exponent. Next, we plug in our bounds and then solve the limit. We end up getting infinity minus 0, which equals infinity. Example 2. The only point that is included in the bounds of this integral is negative infinity. So, we must set the limit as b approaches negative infinity from b to 5 of the integral of d to x over the quantity 1 plus x squared. We know using our identities that the integral of dx over the quantity 1 plus x squared is equal to tangent inverse of x plus c. We perform this integration and plug in our bounds. We know that tangent goes to negative infinity when we plug in pi over 2. We use this information to solve for the limit and we get tangent inverse of 5 minus pi over 2. Example 3. As we have earlier discovered, negative 16 is an undefined point on the interval. Unlike how we performed the last two problems, we will not be setting up the interval as a letter approaches the single point. Since this point is in the middle of the interval, we need to set up two separate integrals with two separate limits and then add them together. Our first integral will be the limit as a approaches negative 16 from the left from negative 22a of the integral of dx over the quantity x plus 16 to the 1 third power. Our second integral Will be, set, will be the limit as b approaches negative 16 from the right from b to 0 of the integral of dx over the quantity x plus 16 to the 1 third power. We then integrate each integral and then give 3 halves of the quantity x plus 16 to the 2 thirds power. Next, we plug in our bounds. Our final step will be to solve for each limit. As a approaches negative 16 from the left, that side will go to 0 minus 6 to the 2 thirds power. As b approaches minus 16 from the right, that side yields us 0 minus 16 to the 2 thirds power. 16 to the 2 thirds power can also be written as 4 times 2 to the 2 thirds power. We then add the two terms and multiply the quantity of the sum by 3 halves to give us our answer of minus 3 halves times the quantity 6 to the 2 thirds power plus 4 times 2 to the 2 thirds power. Careful, the limit as a approaches x from the left does not necessarily equal the limit as a approaches x from the right. If you didn't notice, this is the reason we are unable to use only one limit for the previous problem. Thank you for watching, and have a productive day.